In this video, I'm gonna share with you the top three mistakes that photographers make when they're shooting portraits. Welcome back everyone. My name is Miguel Quiles, and I wanna to talk to you guys today about some common mistakes that I see photographers make all the time when it comes to shooting portraits and how you can avoid them. So let's talk about the very first one. So let's talk about the first mistake that I see that people make all the time, which is not communicating with the model. So we often as photographers are worried about our camera settings and all of the technicalities of taking a great photo. However, in the process of doing that, we can't forget to talk to our models because if we don't talk to them, their mind runs rampant and goes into places where you don't want them to go as a photographer. Let me give you an example. Let's see, let's zoom into this photo. Let's make sure eyes are in focus. Lighting looks a little bit off here. Oh man, I hope that was okay. Um, my hair, you think it's my hair? Is that why he's making that face? Maybe move the light a little bit farther back. I didn't get enough sleep last night. I wonder if you can see it in my eyes. So as you can see, even though as a photographer, you might be thinking that they're not really worried about anything or they're ready to go, you know, they are gonna be thinking about anything and everything under the sun and you wanna keep them from doing that because you're not gonna get good expressions out of them. You wanna get genuine expressions and in order to do that, you have to constantly be talking to the model, telling them they're doing a good job, just reassuring them and reaffirming that everything is gonna be okay. Now the second mistake that I see that is really common when it comes to shooting portraits is not getting the eyes in focus. Now I was guilty of doing this when I first started in photography. I would use the center focus option and oftentimes when you're taking a portrait it's center is their chest or their stomach or you know some other part of their body and not their face and so as a result what would end up happening is you'd get the eyes soft and out of focus. So it's very important that you use your camera's features, whether it be selective focus, um, or if you're shooting with a Sony camera, using the eye autofocus feature to make sure that your eyes are tack sharp and in focus every single time. All right, let's talk about the third common mistake that I see when it comes to shooting portraits, and that's not having the eyes looking in the right direction. So I'll give you an example of what that looks like. It's very common for either models or subjects when you're photographing them, especially if they're kind of nervous and shy, they won't look at the camera, they won't engage directly with the camera. So you tend to get a lot of poses that kind of look like this, where they're looking away from the camera, or they're looking in this direction away from the camera. And what also tends to happen is they'll look this way and then their eyeballs will look in the opposite direction. And I'm gonna show you guys an example on the screen of what that looks like. But what ends up happening is if they're looking away from the camera and their eyes are looking away from the camera as well, you're gonna see a lot of white area on the eye and it's gonna be one of those things where once you see it, you can't unsee it as a viewer. So you wanna make sure that you tell your models that whatever direction it is that their nose is pointing, that the eyes are pointing in that same direction as well. You don't wanna have the nose going in one direction and the eyes shifted going in a different direction because it will create too much of a white space in the eyes and it's not gonna look good. So tell them, look in the same direction that your nose is pointing and you will get much better portraits. So that was three common portrait mistakes that photographers make all the time and hopefully some different ideas and ways for you to be able to alleviate that. What are some common mistakes that you guys see or maybe that you make yourself when you're shooting portraits? Leave that in the comment section below because I'd love to hear it and possibly make a video about that later in the future. By the way, while you're here, subscribe to Adorama TV. They have a ton of amazing content, lots of great videos for you to watch. As well, check out the Adorama Learning Center for more great content. Thank you so much for watching The Breakdown and I will see you guys all in the next episode. Bye everybody.